welcome back at Peter Place with another preview for the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. And this one is about the Tour of Hyrule that we got in one of the trailers. Look at it again, this nice little view of how big the map supposedly is going to be. Uh, and we get to see Hyrule Castle, Hyrule Castle Town, all of it. Uh, it's going to be so huge, this map. I really think it will. Uh, and we will get to see all the other areas as well, like the Gerudo Desert. So yes, there is a Gerudo in this game, probably also a Gerudo Town. We are playing as Zelda, so we should be able to walk just in there. I'm really curious to find out. So obviously, uh, if there's a Gerudo Desert, there is someone uh, in, in Gerudo who's being boss right now. Is it still Riju? Is it someone else? I'm really curious to find out about the timeline. Other than that, we've got the Jabul Waters right now. But even though it's a name that I'm not familiar with, and look at that door, so we will be finding a way to actually swim underwater. We can find the Zoras there. There's this time there's like sea Zoras and river Zoras. Super cool. There's shops also really familiar from um, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. And there's Elden Volcano. Obviously, no no Hyrule is complete without Elden Volcano. And Elden Volcano or Elden the region is obviously home to the Gorons. Uh, this is probably also Elden Volcano, but like not the hot stuff. And there we have the Gorons. There is a Goron city and there's the Rock Roasts again. The Rock Roasts that were also featured in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It's so cool. There's Farron Grasslands again. Uh, looks to be this subtropical region again where we can find all lots of stuff. The only thing that's not in this overview is Korok Forest. But in the first trailer, remember, there was a view of the Deco Tree. So there must be a Korok Forest here as well. And will there then also be a quest on how to get there? Um, on quests, so we saw a main quest there. And this is a side quest. So there will be quests just like in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. I think this game is going to be positively huge again. So um, the exclamation marks are there to point out where quests are. It's going to be so fun playing this game. And I hope, I hope, I hope it's going to be just as huge. And this is also a very cool point. So there are travel waypoints. And now check this out. So a travel waypoint that you can activate. And then we get a view of the map where they are. Look at it. I think that map is positively massive. And that was only one map. There is also probably a map for uh, the still world and then... There's still dungeons, so there's a lot of ground to cover. And we get horses, also something that came from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. You can summon horses that are apparently capable of galloping over weaker enemies and jumping fences. And if you've got carrots, you can summon them. Super cool. There's a sea, wondering if I can swim in that, but we'll figure that out as we play the game. Um, and then there's shops, as we knew. And then you can... You can kind of do the similar things from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. You have an inventory with food and you can you can mix them and make them into other stuff. I think this is the equivalent of cooking. Uh, so there's shops uh, where you can get items. So they made a really nice blend of uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild and Link's Awakening. Also different outfits are a thing. So uh, very interesting things coming up. And this is a brilliant idea. The bind idea the idea that you can bind yourself to enemies and use them to fly or swim or uh attack other enemies or which is also cool to get obstacles out of the way but then uh this particular sequence triggered me to thinking maybe we shouldn't be too fast to just throw rocks away because the idea here would be to like um get them into that that depth but i would put them on the button that's what i would have done i would have put it on the button anyway the graphic of that was eerily reminiscent to ultra hand i think at least uh but um yeah the idea that you can finally manipulate enemies like that is pretty interesting i think they made a really nice blend of the game if i had a sword i would be chopping down all that grass because dollars to donuts there's rupees in there and then this idea the reverse bend or bond sorry the reverse bond to actually use objects to then follow their path like that platform or this bird um or whatever that is i don't even know and then they showed this pretty cool idea you just get an echo of a spider and use it to scale a cliff that otherwise you would never be able to scale so i wonder how they're gonna make things of the map inaccessible actually because using these techniques virtually everything is possible right 
So I'm really looking forward to exploring this game. And one of the things that I've already got noted down, so to speak, is how can I do things the game did not intend me to do? Would there be creative ways to get over obstacles that the game actually intended to be uh, not uh, penetrable yet? Uh, so really looking forward to that. And that kind of sums up um, this particular trailer, again, we get a sneak peek that you can go into the rifts, but we've already covered that in a previous one. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.